What's up guys, it's Sweet Sage here, and I'm so excited to be talking about these new cozy games that are coming out this year. So the first game that I wanted to talk about is one that I've talked about before, and this game is called Teacup. If you know me, of course you know that I love indie games, so I actually played this game, or the demo of this game, back in January of 2021. So the fact that more people are talking about it and getting pumped up for it just warms my heart. But Teacup is a super cute game about a little frog named Teacup who is on search of tea, for her tea party that's coming up. So you go through this cute little woodland forest and you find different people that help you along the way to find different types of tea. It's really educational, which is one thing that I really loved about playing the game, but the colors and the vibe of the entire game itself makes it very easy to play. So that's one of the things that I'm really excited about. And this game is just gonna be on Steam as far as I know, and it doesn't have a specific release date yet. That's Teacup. Garden Story is a game that I've been talking about since last year. I've been waiting for this game to come out for so long. Garden Story is this cute adventure RPG type game where you play as a cute little grave called Concord and you go through and defeat these uh, antagonists who are like mold I believe if I'm not mistaken and you go through and you defeat them and you also help the little townspeople it kind of has a Stardew Valley vibe as far as like the 8-bit design of it I don't think it's called 8-bit it's it's something bit it's pixely that kind of design of it um, also reminds me of like Ink and Fell if you enjoyed that game that design is something that you really like you will probably fall in love with this game as well garden story i know it doesn't have a, a specific release date it should be coming out 2021 it's going to be on switch and also on steam so you can play on either one of those the next game i wanted to talk about is a game that everyone's been talking about and it is bear and breakfast so you play bear and breakfast as a bear his name is hank and you try to run in b and b that's in this really adorable forest and it's kind of like a time management game it has that super cute kind of cottage core feel. So if that's something that you're really interested in, you'll probably really enjoy this game. It's definitely one of the highlighted games that came from E3. This game is gonna be available on Nintendo Switch and also on Steam. The next game that I wanted to talk about is called Lost Nova. I haven't heard too much buzz about this game, but after researching it more myself, y'all, it looks amazing. Hello? She looks cute. She's adorable. In this game, you play as Mia, who is a beautiful purple haired adventurer who finds this alien planet and you use the resources that you find on the planet to kind of build your way back home so you can explore and craft and just use everything that you can find on that planet in order to get back home. The game was developed by one person and most of these games are actually indie games too, which is my jam. You know me. So if you don't, hello. I, I'm I'm Sage. I like indie games. This game is going to be coming out fall 2021 and this game is only going to be on Steam. The next game is called Baldo the Guardian Owls. I am so excited about this game. I usually don't go for 3D versions of games, but this one looks really well put together, so I'm actually kind of excited for it. So Baldo is an action adventure RPG. You play as this young child named Baldo, and you get to meet a bunch of fun, weird, and funny characters that are kind of scattered throughout the land, fighting enemies, and you also get to locate hidden temples and objects and be able to make new weapons and things like that. The reason I'm listing this is mostly because of the art style. It's closer to cozy than it would be to more action-packed and super you know whoa, type of feel <laughs> and that's why it's listed here so that will be coming out sometime this year fingers crossed the next game I want to talk about is of course Hollow Knight Silk Song if you guys don't know about the Hollow Knight game the original one go play that the most wholesome vibes even though you're killing bugs the whole time regardless it is one of the first games that i ever played on the switch so silk song is about hornet who was initially in the original hollow knight game so hornet is a princess who gets lost and it's basically the same premise as the first game where you're traveling through these different levels and you're battling other bugs that are trying to stop you the really cool thing about this game is of course the music and the art style are absolutely flawless, very beautiful, but we get to see one of our favorite characters from the original game transformed a little bit. Being able to play her is going to be so exciting for old fans and also for new fans. So if you haven't played the old Hollow Knight, 
pop on it. I'll even leave that game down in the description. But Silk Song is going to be coming out hopefully by the end of the summer. It will be on the Switch and also on Steam. The next game that I want to talk about is called Hindsight. This is a game that I haven't really seen a lot of buzz about as well. But Hindsight is a game that's coming on Nintendo Switch. I believe I don't think it's going to be on any other platform. And basically, this game is a narrative exploration game where you're going through different parts of this person's past by looking at specific objects. Being able to look at life from a different person's perspective is always really interesting to me. And this is one of those games that kind of do that. It drags you into this woman's life and into her past, kind of assist her to find, you know, the answers that she's looking for. So that always makes me feel great. And those are the type of games that I always long for. It's gonna be coming out 2021. I haven't seen anything about a specific release date and it'll only be on the Nintendo Switch. So that's hindsight. The next game that I'm excited for, y'all, it's called Venva. Y'all have probably seen people talking about this, especially since the Wholesome Games Direct. The Venba is a cute, adventurous indie game. You play as an Indian immigrant mom who immigrates from India with her family to Canada, and you're basically trying to learn how to balance your culture as they go through different trials about family, love, loss, and more. So just based off of the style of the game itself, I'm pumped. I love beautiful games that have uh, beautiful music and also very bright colors is one of those games that I was instantly drawn into because of the story and because of the way that it looks. It will be coming out sometime this year and it will only be coming out on Steam as far as I know. All right, the next game that I'm gonna be talking about is actually technically not coming out yet in 2021. It should be released sometime early 2022, but the reason it's on this list is because they actually have a Kickstarter right now and I'm really pumped to see this game come to life. So here it is. <laughs> So this game is called Frog Song. It is an absolutely adorable, heartfelt adventure game where you play as a cute little frog, explore the world around him, which is filled with monsters and also lots of friends. So as you can see, based on the animation of how adorable this game is, everything is actually hand-drawn. Frog Song is a game that I'm definitely keeping my eye on and I would love for you guys to keep your eye on it as well. And of course, I'll be making more updates about Frog Song. It should be coming out in 2022 and I think it'll be on Steam only, but we'll see. The next game I wanna talk about is called Kitty Builder. Of course, this game is absolutely adorable. So Kitty Builder or City Builder, I'm actually not sure how to pronounce it, is a relaxing and cute city building and exploration game about searching for lost blueprints around a desert and decorating the island. So you basically have free reign on decorating this island however you would like to. You're a cute little purple cat who has a little construction hat and you're walking around trying to build this island to this beautiful city. And it kind of looks however you want it to look. Like you have free reign as far as I know right now. You have free reign on what the city looks like, but the blueprints are kind of like materials to help you go along with the game itself. It should be coming out sometime this year, but the good thing is you can actually play a demo of this game right now and I have the link in the description. And of course, the last game on our list is two the rescue which of course is a dog shelter simulator game this game you basically run around trying to make sure that all the dogs in your shelter are perfectly healthy and happy in order for them to be adopted by loving families who want to come in and of course take them home and there isn't an official release date as far as i know yet but on steam it says that the game is coming out soon that's it for me guys if you can't tell i'm really excited about these games i have a bunch more videos coming out every week about cozy wholesome and indie games that you guys will probably absolutely love if you enjoyed all the games or even some of the games on this list if you want to see me stream some of these games on twitch you can also follow me there but that's pretty much it guys for me have a great day thank you so much for watching this video and i hope to see you in the next one bye